Now it is time to perform another analysis and get the insights from the data. Now you may wonder why I am doing this kind of stuff. Why not directly use some machine learning algorithm and perform some prediction classification that is interesting thing. You might wonder but the reason why we are doing this stuff is this is a basically things that you will do in a company where you will work as a data scientist. If you are getting hired as a data scientist, most of the tasks will be related to data cleaning, preparing a data and doing this kind of analysis. After you perform this analysis, doing a machine learning task is quite simple. So maximum time will be invested while cleaning, munging and preparing the data. After you prepare the data, next big step that you will do as a data scientist will be to analyze the data. So that is what we have been doing. We have the data, we cleaned it and we did some analysis. So now time for another analysis and this is also a vital analysis for our project and the analysis will tell us how does the price per night of the hotel vary over the years. So I'll just create a new cell as always I'll create it as a markdown and write the analysis that we are going to do right here. So how does the price per night this is nothing but ADR if you remember this was the attributes that we have been dealing if I open the data dictionary then you will find the information about the attributes ADR attributes and we are going to check it over the year. So how does it is going to vary? So this is the next big analysis. So this will give us an information about the scenario where the price will either increase or decrease over the course of the year. This is also vital information. Let's say I want to just get the information regarding what is the price let's say in the September what is the price of the hotel in the September then I can do it by this analysis so for that if you remember we have our final data frame if I check our final that is data and if I take the head out of it then you will see this is our data the final cleaned data that we have been using for our analysis and here we have this hotel and if you remember in this hotel we have two hotels like if I only access the hotels then you can see I have these hotels and from these hotels if I do call the unique function to it then if I run then you can see we have these two hotels on our data the first hotel is a resort hotel and the next hotel is city hotel so we have been doing the analysis on these two hotels now I'm going to check how the price might vary in the resort hotel over the course of the year. I want to check what was the price of the hotel at September, maybe at April, September, May, all the month of the year. And similarly, I want to check what was the price for the city hotel also over the course of the year. So for that, I have to first of all distinguish these two hotels. So I will just make different variable for different hotel. So first of all, I'll say resort hotel and I'll name it as data resort. And for the city hotel, I will name it as data city. Now, first I will extract only the resort hotel. So our hotel will be stored in this final data. So our data is stored in this final data. So from this final data, I want to extract that is the hotel. So I will extract the hotel. So I'll just say data or in our case final data, final data and uh, if the final data hotel is equally called resort hotel so if it is a resort hotel then extract it and save it in the data resort similarly 
I'll copy this everything and if my hotel name so from our data if the hotel name is now city hotel now I will change from resort to city in the case of data city now if I run both of them and I can also print let's say I'll just print the data resort dot head if I run it then you can see now I have the information about the resort hotel inside this data resort and city hotels information are stored inside this data city now one of the main problem with this data is in our data we have this is cancelled attribute which will store the information of the booking whether it was cancelled or not if the booking was cancelled then it will have the value 1 if it was not cancelled it will have the value 0 but now our analysis is saying that how does the price per night vary over the year now this information required only the booking that has not been cancelled we want only the information of the guest that did not cancelled their booking so that was the reason our that is data is not refined yet we want only the data that is from the resort hotel and those data that not has been cancelled so that has not been cancelled so those data will only be applicable for this analysis because if the people or the guest cancelled their booking we don't want their analysis in this case maybe in the case where we want to predict why does the guest cancelled our booking in that case we might include this is cancelled attribute where the data has the is cancelled value of 0 or 1 but now in this case we don't want those data which has been cancelled so for that I will have this end attribute and attached to it and uh, I will check if the booking has not been cancelled so I'll just say cancelled and if it is equal equal 0 that means the booking has not been cancelled so if the booking has not been cancelled and if the data is of the resort hotel then I will store it in the data resort similarly we will do same for the city hotel if the data was of the city hotel and if the data was not cancelled if the booking was not cancelled then I will store in the data city so finally we have these two data that has been differentiated and now this is what we are going to use for this analysis firstly we have this variable which contains the data of the resort and then we have the data of the customer or the guest that were booked and that went to city hotels now if I run both of them and let us create a new cell where we can do this analysis so now next thing what I want to do is I want to just check at which month in this data resort we want to check the rate or the people that came on this data resort at any month so if I go to our data then here we have the data and in this data we have these attributes which has the month see here this is the attributes arrival date month and this contains the information about the month which they arrived so at the top we can see July was the month and then the, there come the August month where the customer or the guest came to our hotel so we want to check at which month what rate of the people came at that month so let us start with resort hotel resort hotel this is for the resort hotel and if you remember the resort hotel data is this so we are going to only use the variable name variable will be used that is data resort so we are going to use this variable to do the analysis for resort hotel 
so for that i'm going to take data underscore resort first because this is the attributes that has the resort hotel data and here i'm going to call a function group by and i'm going to group by by the month name if you remember i'm going to group by by the month name and what is the attributes name that has the month it is arrival date month so i'm going to add it right here arrival date month so i'm group buying by it then if i run the data at this moment then we can see we got nothing at this moment we group by but we only got the object out of it now i want to group by according to this adr attribute now what does this mean is for the common month i want the value of adr to it and i want to calculate the mean of that value of adr if you remember this adr adr attribute is the rate if you go to the dictionary data dictionary in fact then we can see this adr attribute right here the adr attribute on our data set defines the average daily rate so kind of a rate it is a rate so rate here means how many people came to our that is hotel per day so that is what adr represents so we are calculating by here how many people came by month now not by day now it is by month how many people came per month so this is what we are going to calculate here how many people came to resort now because we are using this resort so how many come to resort hotel per month so this is what this line of a code does and we are calculating mean out of it so it is kind of average and now if i print this then you can see at april 75 rate was there at august we can see highest rate so that means the people came in flux the maximum people came at august in the resort hotel so that is what we can gain by this information at july we can see 150 is the rate so this rate of people came at the month of july which is the second highest maybe august and this september october were the holidays days and we got maximum number of people coming to our resort hotel maybe in the city hotel the scenario might be different or similar we are going to check that also so now what i can do is i can just reset the index to it so i'll say reset index so see here i added the index and this is what this method will do and now i can store this on some variable and i'll say resort hotel so this will contain this information about the month and the people or the rate at which the people came at that month so i'll just add it in the resort hotel so next thing after we add it i will just go down and we are going to do the same for city hotel now i'll just copy in fact go down and paste it here so how many people came to city hotel now i'll just rename this resort hotel to city hotel and data resort was for the resort hotel now data city should be used for the data that was for the city so data city and we group by by the same month name and we get this adr we calculate the mean and we are going to print it so in fact before storing it into the city hotel i'm going to print it right here you can see now here in the city hotel we can see at the time of may people came the highest and september we can also see too many people came at the time of september also because it is a holidays and people usually enjoy city hotels during the holidays so uh, people can be seen here which is quite different from our resort hotel 
if I also print our resort hotel then you can see this was the arrival date and the rate at which the people came at the month for the resort hotel and this is for the city hotel you can do too much of analysis like at which month people came and so on now I will store it in the variable resort hotel I will store it in the resort hotel over here and I'll just store it in the city hotel so this will be city hotel so now we have these two variables and their analysis should be done now now here one of the important thing you can see in our data is our data has not been combined into a single one because I want to combine these resort hotel and city hotel into a single variable so let us do that so that our analysis will be simpler I don't want different variable rather I'll just say final is my attribute name and resort hotel so I'm getting this attributes first which is nothing but our data frame so I'm getting the first data frame and I'm calling the merge function that is defined inside the pandas library and I'm going to pass city hotel to it so I'm just passing it now and I'm going to say that on what basis the merge should be done it should be done on the basis of arrival date month so now if I run it and if I print the final that has been just merged so I'll just say print final then you can see we have merged now so this ADDRX represents this that is resort hotel this hotel data and ADRY represents the city hotel data and it has been merged into the single data frame that is called as final so now I need to just rename this column name I want to rename this into different column name so I'll just take this final and I'll just name it with my different columns name so the first column I want to name it is just a month it will be month and second attributes or a column will be named as price for resort so this is price okay price for resort hotel and the last attributes or the last column this column the last will be named as price for city hotels I'll say city hotel let's be specific and this is for resort hotel so now if I run this and finally if I print the final then you can see we have this final data frame and uh, their rate you can see at April we can find their data and December and so on and this is their price for each of this month simply using this analysis you can take this data this information these insights so this is the insights and you can take this to your higher level managers and uh, just propose them a plan like you can see for the resort hotel their price has been increased at the time of August so maybe this is the time where the people comes the must this is a seasonal so due to the season this price might have gone to the highest and this analysis might be vital if you want to run some ad campaign or some promotional event at the time of the season and similarly we are going to use this data for analysis in the next video just stick with the next video next video will be very very important for the further analysis so i'll see you in the next one